I'm Susan Finch and I'm going to teach you how to create a private YouTube video also known as a private HOA that you can download later edit record do whatever you want enhance it and then put it back up to YouTube I'm also going to teach you how to do this as the page which means that if you have a company page or channel you can log into Google switch your account to be the page and then set up this live private event. This enables other people to go back later, download it if they want to help you, edit it, enhance it, and put it back up as the page to your professional channel. This is a very handy tool so you don't have to give away your personal login information. It's also a great way to record things that you're not ready for everybody to see yet. Maybe you want to add some visuals, maybe you want to insert some screenshots or even other videos. This is a way you can do that. So stand by. Let's learn how to create a private YouTube video as the page. The first thing I've done is I've gone to YouTube. You can see off to the right here I'm logged in as me, Susan Finch. But I don't want to do that. I want to be logged in as the page so I can launch this private event as the page, allowing the other page managers to edit it or view it. So first thing I'm going to do is click up on my face and click on Switch Account. Now I'm going to switch to one of the pages that I manage and become that persona. Now you can see the icon has changed up here. Now I'm the Sales Lead Management Association. Up at the top under the cog, you're going to click on Video Manager. Now you're going to click on Live Events. You can see some of our videos here. These are the ones that have already been recorded. Live Events. I'm going to create a live event. So I'm going to click right here. And I'm going to create my live event. The first thing I want to make sure in this case is that it's set to private. Not unlisted, because unlisted you can still share that link and other people can see it, or whoever shares that link can see it, whether you've invited them or not. Private means only you, as the page, can see this, which means the page managers, when they are logged in as the page, <laughs> they can also see it. They can't see it though in their public profiles, in their regular profiles I should say. So if I were just Susan Finch, I wouldn't be able to see this. I can add other people too, if I wanted to have a private meeting maybe. Maybe I have a very small circle of people on Google Plus and I want to share it with just them. Or other contacts and I can s invite them right here and they are the only ones See, it can be names, circles, or email addresses. They will be able to see it. But right now, I only want this private because I'm going to have other uses for this video. This is mainly a production tool I'm using it for. Okay, so I can schedule it for right now. I can also make it at a future time. Since I'm just creating this to be part of a tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and launch it now. If I were creating it and scheduling it and things, I might want to add an end time. It's not necessary though. You're going to see a couple of options here. One is quick, using Hangouts on Air. Google's Hangouts on Air tool makes it so easy to record this. I just know how to make it work this way and make it work well. So for now I'm going to stick with that and when I need to get really fancy, I get some help here from my friends. You can tag it if you want, but since it's private, you don't really need to bother with all of these things. You can put a description, but have that just for yourself. Perhaps you want to say it's part of a training video I'm using for blah blah blah. It doesn't really matter. But you do have to agree to the terms for streaming on YouTube. Since I'm saying today and now, let's do it. Go live now. You can do it from up here or down here. Again, verify it's private. Here we go. and we're ready to go. This opens a new window just for the Hangout. First thing we're going to do is check our settings. We want to make sure that we have the right camera, which is my Logitech camera, the right mic, which is the one with my headphones, and that the speakers are the correct ones as well. Click Save. 
so it's ready to go. If you've never launched a Hangout on Air before, you're going to be prompted to install a couple of plugins. And then you're going to have to say OK and approve and yes, it's OK and I'm OK and I'm not scared. Check those boxes and then you'll be all set to go. You'll see some tools over here. They'll vary depending on if you've ever been in one before and had different plugin tools or if you're new in here. There are ways to find other tools as well. One of my favorites, two of my favorites I should say, one is the Hangout Toolbox. The Hangout Toolbox lets you get all ready for your recording. If you're training some things, this makes it really easy. You can choose your lower third. See, lower third, I can have my name. And it has my icon because that's how I'm logged into Google Plus and YouTube right now. I'm in YouTube as the page. If it were me, it would have my head there. So let me show you some other things. Custom overlays. This is where you can create an overlay to put your own graphics and banners and your logos and things here. Here's one I've created for myself. Here's one I've created for the Sales Lead Management Association. And here's one for my nonprofit, Binky Patrol. So sometimes I'll come in as the page for Binky Patrol to do events. And sometimes I'll use the, the little tiny thing that we used up here before, the simple one. And sometimes I use the fancy one. But right now I'm just going to record as me. Even though I'm the page, I'm still going to record as me because I want to use this for some other purposes. See where I'm sitting? You'll want your lower third to not be too high because otherwise your face is in it. You want to sit back just a little bit, have some decent lighting. I have a little bit of shadows right now, but it's not too bad. We can adjust those. We always have some decent lighting. And then we're ready to broadcast. If you're in here with more than one person, you're recording something, you can invite them in with you. Other page managers can also come in here with you. But the YouTube video is still private, so only you and your page managers can see it. Even if you invite five other people, they still can't see it because you didn't invite them into the video. That's handy. But they can be part of this Hangout on Air. Maybe it's a training session you want to do. If you had more people in here, you could get that chat going. See that cool little bubble? This is where you can tell your folks that are in the film strip down here, which is you, you would have other people be them and them and them and them. And you can say, hey, smile more. Oh, look up. Oh, your mic's bad. Without having to interrupt the entire recording. And hopefully they'll know to be checking that too. But we can cover those types of things another time. This is just for you to record a private video quickly and easily without having to have a lot of tools. So now we're ready to start broadcast. My sound is ready. My mic is ready. Everything's ready to go. I have my lower third on. My lighting's good enough. And here I am. So I'm going to click Start Broadcast. See down there? Start Broadcast. That's going to put us on the air. Right now it says Off Air up there. Let's start that broadcast. Here we are. Say OK. There's a lot of things about saying OK and yes and I'm OK. Here we go. Get ready because you're on. And we are live. This is how you record a private YouTube event, also known as a private Hangout on Air. We're doing this as the page. When you are the page, you are your brand. You are your cause, whatever the page channel is. Once I'm done recording this, I will go back into YouTube after this window is closed down and go download the MP4 file. Then I'll bring it into my nifty tool here called Camtasia Studio. That's the one I use. A lot of people use iMovie and other things. I use Camtasia. Then I can bring it in, adjust any sound, add some overlays, add music, add clapping, add whatever I want. And then I can create my final video, export it to another MP4, and upload it to YouTube and make it public. It's very handy. So we're going to stop the broadcast, and then I'll show you what happens. You stop broadcast. Broadcast has been terminated, so we're not recording anymore. We still have this little after. But if it's just you, then you're all done. You go ahead and leave the call, and then it will get saved to YouTube, and you'll be able to download it in the next step. Now we're off the air. Now let's go to our uploads area. Download MP4. That's all you have to worry about right now. Don't worry about any of this other stuff for the moment. These are other training videos we will do about annotations and enhancements and blah, blah, blah. Let's go on to download MP4. 
now I can download this MP4 wherever I want to put it. I can put it on my desktop, I can put it in my HOA folder. I have one just called HOAs. And I'm going to put it right there. Save. So I hope you found this video very helpful and that you've learned how to create a quick recording using your own webcam and mic setup to be able to use in other ways later. It's a great way to create maybe an intro for an event you have coming up, a quick welcome. It's a, but remember, lighting and sound are critical. Make sure that you have good sound, good lighting, and that you have a good camera and a fast connection. You want to make sure they can see you clearly, but more importantly, hear you clearly. You have to be heard in order to be understood and for people to get excited about what you want to show them. We'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.